Welcome to the 14th episode of Maple Glaze Podcast. Uh, I am Zach. This is Murph for being extra proper this time. Howdy. Very proper. That Sorry. was like probably Hello. one of the quickest intros we've ever done. And now it's, we're done. <laughs> and now we're done. We're and that's it. <laughs> now they're no longer listening to us since they know the name. <laughs> uh, welcome to a brand new episode. Uh, if you guys... Before we get started, if you guys Uh-oh. have not yet, make sure you guys follow us on all the social medias. That's exactly. right, Instagram, TikTok. Mm-hmm. Uh, also watch Reclaim the, the Throne. Reclaim the Throne. <laughs> God damn it, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> and also watch the video portion on YouTube as well. And we also do have a Patreon. Uh, if you guys feel like helping support the 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 business, the, the, the business the stuff, business, the like business, business. I gotta make a sign, business. I like it. And uh, should, that should be one of our buttons that we can hit. <laughs> gotta, gotta, business. <laughs> I, I was about to like redo all the buttons on on the soundboard here i wanted wanted to mix it up a little yeah, bit but i didn't get to it because murph murph was being sassy today how's that my fault i don't know yeah what? blame murph blame all right murph. fine that's fine uh been doing it for generations all right, to make it special we yes. are um we are drinking murphy's murphy's yes Stay crispy, my Contrary friends. Contrary to popular belief, uh, yes, every Murphy gets stock in Murphy's by association. Oh, wow. You know, so we all get 0. 0.001 of a share since there's a lot of Murphys in the world. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Don't I'm look just, it up. I, Don't look it up. Take my word for it. Don't look I it learned up. something new tonight. Mm-hmm. There we go. And here, um, just before I get, as Murphy was commenting on my damn sweatshirt, <laughs> baseball just got out of Baseball's a lockout. Back. Baseball's America. back, baby. America. That's right. So the season of us sucking finally can, can continue. All I can I'm say happy. is nothing more American than getting burnt in a baseball stadium, drinking six tall boy beers, and having eight hot dogs just waiting for the heart attack to hit. Mm. That is America right there, watching a guy with a wooden club hit a ball and run some bases. Sounds like a dime a dog night. Exactly. Damn. Exactly. Good times. Good times. <laughs> Sounds like a bunch times. of regrets. <laughs> My family still gets horrified when I tell them that story. Oh, I ate like ten hot dogs at Dime a Dog Night. Bro, we've all done it. We, I guess, <laughs> have we? We, so I we, we all have. Oh, yeah. At least once. What? Yeah. If you live in Columbus, you've done that at least once because of Dime a Dog. You gotta like, make it worth it. So I, a dollar, <laughs> you're living like a king. We uh, here like in Columbus, we um, we have the AAA team, Columbus Clippers, who has been associated with a bunch of different teams mm-hmm. over the the course of the years like the Yankees and one year with Nationals and with the Indians and it's like they always have this thing called Dime a Dog Night where you literally you just pay a dime for a hot dog yep. and it's man they're just um, made in bulk sitting in plastic bags <laughs> super wasteful probably <laughs> should question the health it's, facts on it but it, it's America we don't question the hot dogs just you know it's uh yeah highly yeah. questionable highly highly questionable but you know but you know Knock what? On wood, no food like, poisoning. Like Murph said, like we've all been there where you yep. eat at least eight to like twelve hot yep. dogs, and you're like, you know what? This was the best but worst decision I ever made in my life. And what we're not telling you is it's all in one sitting. All one sitting. All one sitting. Boy. And you have to make eye contact with someone as you eat them. <laughs> just double. <laughs> just, just eye contact. Mouth full of hot dog. Eye contact. Ugh. <laughs> You ever sitting next to your buddy eating a couple of hot dogs, double fisting them? Welcome to no, America. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I gotta get up and leave if that happened. I'd be like, nope. I'm done. No, 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 yeah. sir, sir, sir. Yeah, that's mention I'm not one of those weirdos that has, doesn't put anything on a hot dog. So I do eat them. I don't know. Yeah, that's no. That's that's not a hot take. That's just fact. If you don't put anything on your hot dog, you might be a serial killer. You can find me in the concourse taking shots <laughs> yeah. of relish. <laughs> Why relish? That's where you go to. I don't know. Yeah. More so onions. Ketchup, mustard. Oh, okay, fair. I, I like onions and ketchup and then maybe a little bit of mustard here and there. A little, 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 little finger in your hot dog. A little mustard, little, little mustard you know. <laughs> Thank yeah, you, Murph. I hear you. I for hear making you. a questionable food even more questionable. Oh, Thank you're you. welcome. That's my job. It's what they listen for. <laughs> Just the questionable food. Nothing else. <laughs> you know, uh, you know. I've been I've been teasing Murph all week because of um teasing really we can call it that would you call aggressive, it aggressive cyber bullying aggressive, <laughs> aggressive cyber bullying yes sir sir Just wake up every morning hey there fuck face like all right <laughs> good morning fuck face yeah I mean friend 
Uh, no, it's uh, uh, if you guys haven't kept up with soccer, it, it's it's kind of been funny. I mm -hmm. mean, not funny, but everything that's going on. It's like <laughs> obviously the whole Russia, you know, thing going on. But then you have, then you have Murph's <laughs> Murph's soccer team. You're doing a great job explaining this. Murph's soccer team owner is Russian, so they found a connection. Um, actually, a couple of UK yeah. officials found connections with with him, and then some of the attacks in the Ukraine yep. with the Russian army. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, and fire then, sale. Good news is I can get ownership in the in the scene team now. See, yeah, <laughs> save the bridge, <laughs> right? Bring it back. Um, so now they're they're almost essentially just kind of panicking right now because like today they just they just <laughs> announced they <laughs> like the team credit cards were completely like blocked out now so they can't use them yeah at one point is it too much or i like, like, don't like, know yeah like there are talks too about like affecting their catering and travel bans and then now they can't sell like regular season tickets yeah which was like weird so and it's just it's all this stuff that you're kind of like i feel like you're just beating a dead horse at this point like it's basically like it's it's like the guy the owner's gone he's gonna sell the team for pennies pretty much at this point it's like why punish all this other stuff, but definitely that's how it works. It is kick so. wire down, and every got it. And then I found out too; I didn't know this that the economic sanctions of the so when the team does get sold, it can't be donated to charity. It all goes to the British government, which yeah. I was like, that's very interesting to me. <laughs> so because I think uh, the owner had well, the owner had pledged in like a sign of um, I think of his guilty conscience, he was going to donate. Well, he claimed he was going to donate it to a uh, non-profit for the Ukrainian incident. Is that what we're calling it now? Ukrainian incident or action or something? Well, the Let's Russians ca are calling it operation. Okay, that's right. Yes. Yes. Well, what are we calling it? Invasion? Like we're calling it, maybe they're just invasion. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, the Ukrainian invasion. Um, so... I'll have to stick this but, in, your, in your face. I'll put it in my mouth? Okay. Yeah, perfect. Right there. Perfect. <laughs> no one wants to see me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, yeah, sir, 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 sir. Oh, okay, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Does that work a little better? Yeah. Because I'm going to awkwardly talk like this, have horrible posture. Um, but yeah, no. So that's that's been fun. Yeah, yeah. This sucks. So, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I just I just found that fun. Like not funny, but I find it like it's it's so unprecedented, and, and like you never have this stuff has never happened before. So it's and then. The weird thing was like as soon as that all that stuff started coming out was um they basically were panicking those officials at chelsea were f basically panicking that they could lose all their players yep right away i mean i think what I makes mean, it hell. worse is they're still trying to figure out how bad that it's like it's oh dude the, the so wait, like the what government they can't, decide to do baffles me where it's like it's kind of like they can't buy players but yeah. they can sell them because the just they get my microphone i hate <laughs> this microphone <laughs> but they get uh they get monetary assets from selling players so it's kind of a double-edged sword almost because now they're like well what the hell do we do yeah they can't sign players though i don't know it's weird it's weird yeah. luckily chelsea's got a good setup of things but i think yeah. they'll just make in contract extensions very tricky slash Extremely. certain players will probably want to leave just for the association of it but whatever it's I, like the and i know people Oh gosh, high school, high school. But uh -oh. it feels like uh -oh. whenever anything bad happens, it's like a scarlet letter where it's like just all this. And I fully support the punishment that's been handed to the owner. Yeah. But the fact that it's gone this crazy now, I'm like, okay, like so. Basically, some officials like I really fucked up. Let's like <laughs> bring down the hammer to make there up for the fuck up that I've done. Like, yeah, like it's it's kind of crazy. Instead of just accepting You're the done fact messed that, up, Murph. yeah, right, like. <laughs> Just accept the fact that London is a little bit corrupt. Money runs the world. You took the money. You didn't think twice about it, and now it's coming to bite you in the ass. So, but whatever. Basically, that's just like yeah, it is what it is. Well, reason All why. Well, I guess he confirmed the sale or confirmed the seller club today. But reason why I brought that up, out of all things, was like. Like you see, see me get pissed off no, no. <laughs> no we play you on sunday oh yeah oh but, great, other yeah. That, uh but anyway um trudeau just trudeau had to get in on this he has nothing to do with canada but he's like you know what i want a piece of these sanctions too like you have nothing to do with this <laughs> he's like i'm gonna sanction your your non-bank accounts over here i'm gonna sanction any business that you're 
that you do, you know, dealings with over here. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I smell cover up for the <laughs> trucker fiasco. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Good one, Trudeau. Uh, it's, uh, it's... <laughs> Saving your butt. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it sounds like such Trudeau right now. <laughs> but what you don't understand is that Canada still allies itself with England. So, you know, they've they've got to have their say, too. <laughs> Call, uh, calls the queen mom <laughs> not your mom right yeah <laughs> we've given you independence years ago and it's like nope not accepting it still we still answer to you this whole autonomy <laughs> thing scares me <laughs> <laughs> sounds like robots right it sucks being an adult i don't like having to raise my own tariffs and make my own punishments and all those kind of stuff is tariff still a thing or is that like it just it is it's okay, still, still a thing okay still a thing yeah okay okay that's why I always laugh when England does it. I decree a tariff. Let's be. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, it's probably because the queen's off her medicine, and she's like, "Let's do something." And they're like, "Nope, get back on your medicine. You're just a figurehead." <laughs> I'm feeling tariffy. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Guys, uh... <laughs> get her some extra strong tea. <laughs> It's been dumped in the harbor. Oh, history. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got it in there. Let's We're done. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Hit a button. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. Typical. Uh, that's very really loud. All right. You, you uh, mean... There we go. Perfect. There we go. We I'm very proud it. of myself. History major coming in clutch. All right. <laughs> history jokes. God. <laughs> uh, I actually did not know the Trudeau thing. Of course, you would keep up to date and know the Trudeau thing. I before like we did this you're like sometimes more canadian than me of the amount of canada stuff you i don't have know knowledge of sometimes but i <laughs> i kind of just skate on by you know right that's that's fair <laughs> you're not wrong like avril lavina just skate on by here we go canadian reference there we go we're good i filled my quota i'm good uh, she ever referenced that but that's fine we'll, we'll let it run all right yeah skater boy i don't think she even oh but now well, yeah well, oh yeah, yeah there we go well, okay. merv sure. is a real canadian i swear <laughs> A real half. It toes the line sometimes. It, <laughs> it toes her line. It toes the it toes the border. You know what I'm saying? All right. Half icing, half not. If you know what I'm talking about. Like, not, <laughs> what? No. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. I was trying to like. I was trying to find stuff that like. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna find some weird, goofy stuff for this week from Canada, and then that's the one I see. It just Trudeau just feels. He feels a little left out. That's it. Don't we all? I know. Don't we all? I think we should. I think we should join these tariffs. Exactly. We should we should make our own country? We should dare declare. Yeah, right. we should dare. We should dare tariffs. We should declare tariffs. I we dare the dare. tariffs to try. Dare to declare tariffs. Dare to declare I love tariffs. It. Dare to declare tariffs. Okay. There. Holy crap! Wow. Nice. All right. Wow. Man, those those night classes for announcing are working. Excuse me, there, sir. <laughs> I'm getting I ready for baseball season. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna reclaim my throne. Okay, Buck Showalter. Show, show, show Walter. Walter. <laughs> I don't know. It's... Buck Showalter? I don't know. Something like the that. 1940s Nazi. Exactly. <laughs> Excuse me there, sir. <laughs> it looks like I have a hitch in your giddy up. Here's Mr. Buck Showalter. Uh, <laughs> Coming in here with the transatlantic. You're accent. welcome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but up, up, up. <laughs> like, what, what the, the hell? <laughs> They're about to be like McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is this? Are you sponsored now? <laughs> God, I wish. Right. I, I was watching. What... I was watching other podcasts, and actually, it was it was one guy that was um in in the show Smallville. Okay. When the old loved like, Smallville, oh. the one about um was... Superman when he came in, Clark Kent. Yeah, when yeah, he yeah, came yeah. in, That's Smallville, came in right? all over the place. <laughs> guy made a huge mess. <laughs> Could not control himself. <laughs> And that's why he's not allowed in the Applebee's. And anymore. that's why they don't do teen dramas anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so the guy who played like the bad guy in, in that uh TV show, um <laughs> like I'm just I'm sitting here watching his stuff. It's pretty chill. And and he has like um the guy who played Clark Kent, he had yeah. him on Tom Welling. Wonder what ever happened to him? Been in some smaller stuff. Okay. Yeah, but nothing like, not, like, like yeah, he didn't really I think that was gonna kind of be his breakout role, and I don't think everything ever took off after he was in that. Cheap by the dozen years ago. Oh, that's right. And then like a couple yeah. other like, I guess bigger ish movies, but then he's just kind of did TV for a while. Yeah. But I uh, then that British actor came in that looks a lot like him and just overtook him. I think they probably got who? confused. The guy that plays Superman now. Oh yeah, yeah. They look very similar. He's uh Australian. Oh, I, think. I thought he was English. 
I think he's Australian. Pretty sure he's English. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Leave me alone. It's, fine. it's all the, Gosh, the Queen's man. Kingdom. Leave me alone. It's all the, it's all the guy's not a prisoner. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. That's why they sent him to Australia I'm Google, I'm to deal with the spiders. This, right, exactly. And the fish and the sharks and the, yeah, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> He's going to type in, who is Spider-Man? <laughs> well, we got about a few to choose from. Right. It says, still says, um, <laughs> I was going to say Tony Parker. That's not his name. Tony Parker. Uh, shit. Uh, what's his name? Uh, damn it. Tony, uh, no. Tony Parker, a basketball player. Right, yeah. No, <laughs> yes. The French basketball player. Yes. Um, si vous plaît? Yeah. Oui. Um, what? Damn it. Who? Who is the who's the guy that they're doing all the funny memes on now? Toby Maguire. Oh, Toby Maguire. Yeah. Yes. Not that's him. that's the no, yes. No. Uh, I don't believe he's Spider Man. I would know. <laughs> Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. Oh, yep, 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 yep. That'd be him. That'd be he. Saint Heller Jersey. Is that? Is that? Australian? I think that's Australian. Uh, English. Told you. Oh. English Channel. Off it's the like coast, a, it's like an island. Off the coast of Jersey. Yes, New Jersey. Yes. Um, more like old Jersey. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah, it's like a really small island. Oh, that's cool. It's just a really small island off the coast of France, but it belongs to England. I wonder if those were those islands that um, the Nazis had in World War II. So technically, they were on German soil. I mean, not German soil. Jesus. Technically, they were on um, English soil. They know they had some of those oh. islands. So yeah, yeah but anyway, it's an island off the coast of um, off the coast of France, but England. Nazis only, only took it. like the south, uh, southeast islands. I thought of what of England. How so many islands they, they, does so England have? I don't know. So I'm just seeing. I'm just seeing like these two right here. So they. So I don't they know. Oh, that's where it is. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so, so they, they definitely so took. I remember there. they took. I don't know if they took that. They took but... Guernsey, and okay. then they took. They got pretty close. Yeah, it took something else too. I know they got oh Saint Saint Anne. I think they got that one. Yeah, because I remember them saying how like there were English people living amongst them, and I was just like the Germans just had it. And I was like, oh okay. Well, the reason why I know about Guernsey because they have a soccer team, and it's like they have to spend extra money to pop over in that island. Of course, it's like you know they have like sixth or seventh league <laughs> in England. It's like how expensive that is, right? <laughs> I think they work out a deal or something. Probably. How did we get on the subject? I don't know. I don't oh. know either. Either. Oh, I was just interesting, interesting searches fact. and stuff. Yeah, that, like searches and seizures. Well, speaking of weird, I actually saw this. I guess I, that um, all the companies are pulling out of Russia to stick it to them. And I guess Russia now has made a rule that basically anybody can just kind of like squat on their property and like still call it that. So like all these people, all like the McDonald's have pulled out. Oh, yeah. I guess like yeah. Russia's like, okay, that's fine. But we could just have somebody <laughs> go into the building, run the building, and they'll claim it's McDonald's, even though there's no partnership with the corporate. And I was like, oh, that's the weirdest thing. So could you imagine like going into a right now McDonald's <laughs> like... in Russia? And they're like, oh, you know, well, like, could we get, can I get like a, I don't know, like a Big Mac? They're like, we don't do that here. <laughs> well, I remember, it's funny you mention that because I remember watching a YouTube video. Uh, a couple weeks back, it was like the very first. I was on like an '80s kick, okay. And I found um, the Actually, very always. first McDonald's, <laughs> the McDonald's uh, ever like built in uh, Russia, okay. And it, <laughs> shit was so funny. There's like these lines after lines of people, and when they get their food, they're like just confused as like Americans were back in the '50s. They're like, "Oh, how do we get this food so fast? What is this food?" And they're eating it because they're so used to like certain, right? Like kind of very minimal ration so when they eat this burger they're like the hell is this crap so they're confused and they're like i like it but then i get it i don't i don't it's like, <laughs> it's like what the hell yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's i think we're all the same we're yeah. all the same page yeah. even today when we go to mcdonald's we're like I well now like nowadays this, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. i is like it food? but i shouldn't yeah <laughs> especially the mcrib <laughs> honestly you just give them the bun to be happy right <laughs> Put whatever you want in that bun Hey, there you go. You know. Hey, my put my prerogative and what I put in my bun. <laughs> you know what I do. Oh shit. Jeez. <laughs> no. Oh, so Sounds I had like you put a wiener between your buns. What? All right, continue. Just because we mentioned Diamond Dog Night doesn't right? mean this is, this is the rabbit hole we're going down now. It's gonna be that kind of podcast. <laughs> Welcome to right. the non-sponsored rabbit hole. Right. 
get ready for the loud alcoholic pop yeah. here. Give me a murk. Give me a murk. Ow, ow. It hurts. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Got some smoke. That right. is some good old Murphy. What? Smoke. Okay. Huh? Yeah, I was waiting for that. Yeah. What? what? Smoke. <laughs> okay. What do you do, PG? All right. Got it. Got him. Got him. Oh, my You're God. You're about to go into something? That's what she said. Someone to, said it. We're about to come out of something. Ah, Got it. he said. Someone um, that. Yeah. No, it's like. <laughs> no, it's like. I've been getting. Uh -oh. oh, I've been getting like a bunch of. A couple of our viewers were like, you got to ask Murph, what is in that buffalo chicken dip? It's the one you bought from the store. I think I've... They're asking that after just seeing a video of it? How long ago, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I kept getting hounded this week about it. Like, got to ask. The buffalo need... chicken dip. The buffalo. Remember oh, that? I made that. For... I Did you make that? No. Was it the one in the crock pot? Yeah, but I thought you got it from the store. Oh. Was it? Was it New I don't Year's? know. You're right. I've done it. I've done it twice, but once I actually made it, and the other time I got it uh, from a store. So that was one I New may have gotten from a store. New Year's, I thought I made. I can't remember anymore now. Damn. I'm re I remember like I think I'm not sure it was that night. Maybe it might have been before, but you had like the two packages. Like yeah. put that in. Put that in. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was that. <laughs> we one. Left it on yeah. there for yeah, too long. Left it way too long. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. Um, it's from the store, honestly, but it was good. Yeah, I honestly never even read the ingredients of what's in it, but I'm assuming it's like every normal buffalo chicken dip. And like, oh my gosh, the amount of shit in that. No wonder why I love it so much. Like, yeah, it's like tell the German like people what's in it. it. Yeah, it's like what cream cheese, like like almost a whole packet of that. Um, yeah. And then you usually get like some sort of like thick like um, hot like hot sauce. So yeah. like Frank's is like the big one here. And it's yeah. like, I kid you not, like when you pour it in, it's like molasses. It's thick. Like literally, it's like, yeah, you, just, you can just sense all the butter and sugar <laughs> and like all of that in it. Like it's just, it just pools. <laughs> and um, yeah, so like that. Um, and the one I made, we got like a rotisserie chicken. So it's already yeah. been made. And we just shredded that by hand and threw it in there. Yeah. And then... I think that like and that was that easy. I think yeah, and then you put like a little bit of water just to dilute it a little bit, just because of all the shit you're putting in it. Um, and oh, and so, I think like cheese. You put cheese you in put there. Some cheese in yeah. there too, like a yeah. sharp cheddar or something. So like a very okay. strong cheese. Um, and yeah, it is amazing though. Like, oh god, honestly, throwing parties. I realize, especially here in the Midwest, it's a big yeah. thing here. Like, it's like it'll be funny. It's... You'll like when I was single and pretending to mingle but i never mingled <laughs> um i would you know you'd like you know like you Single, go to, not ready to right? properly you go to, mingle right you go to parties oh, and whether it's like a really high class fancy party or just a college party buffalo chicken dip was always there and you'd see people like dress the nines like looking the best shape in their life just housing this dip like literally housing. yeah and then the, uh, the other thing i always find funny and i guess it goes to show you i need new friends um is like <laughs> I would always bring like, cause I, I try to eat a little healthier now is like veggie platter, just something because Midwestern parties, it's like candy and the thickest, like fattiest shit that you could have dips, <laughs> chip, Buffalo chicken dip, like all that stuff. So I'm like, I'll just bring a veggie platter and like, smart. and of course ranch smart. with it. Cause it's ranch and literally nobody touches it. Like every time I do it, I always have extra that I end up saving. Usually I'm there with you. Yeah. On just like carrots and stuff. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. I have a little bad. bit of it. I'm like, damn, people, just balance your plate out a little bit. But it's the American way. <laughs> oh, my way. God. Like, eat yeah. some vegetables. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. It's like. Oh, I can't there's... I can't just sit there and just eat candy. No. I have, a, I have a sweet tooth and I like it, but my body doesn't like it as much. So I can only eat a little bit of it. So it's like, yeah. you know, that's my reward. Have a little bit of vegetables and then I get to have some some candy after. Yeah, then we get to fill Murph with uh, celery sticks. Exactly. Yeah. There you know, go. Gotta, it takes, takes some calories away. It's just a negative calories. And then you hit them with a baseball bat and then, you know, you might get a really bad pinata. The fuck did that come from? <laughs> like, what? We were talking about buffalo chicken dip. Now we're talking about assault and assaulting me on top of that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what? Like, how casually you just slipped that in there? Like, something you've been fantasizing about for the last, like, fucking eight years of your life. You know, it'd be really good one day to hit Murph with a bat and see what comes out. 
a lot of blood and shit, Zach. A lot of blood and shit. And maybe some Canadian cookies. And that's really about it. That's why we fill you up with buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> yes, <yeah. laughs> oh my gosh. I never uh, seen him get so angry for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like anger it was just like the most <laughs> random like I, I know we talk about a lot of random things on here but i'm like really like, like what? wow yeah i'm like what <laughs> let's get it was weird like, so out in left field i'm like i think the only hey, baseball rational, reference right the only <laughs> rational explanation is to get mad i'm like not to mention i'm mostly mad is because it's a hockey stick zach not a baseball bat if you're gonna beat me up with something use a oh, hockey stick fine. that's the canadian tradition oh well fine exactly when we perform an assault on somebody we use a hockey stick it's just canadian I mean, not, law. not even goalie stick well i mean that's that's really I how mean, you make, get some damage you can yeah, yeah. that's yeah that's i mean it's, like, it's, like a half that's, it's up half to the stick. assaulter or the hockey stick but yeah <laughs> no oh my god <laughs> there you go got dark oh uh, my yes. god <laughs> welcome back everybody <laughs> it's like Unreal. I kind of wish, and I know it would never happen, hmm. but it would have been awesome if, like, in medieval times, if the Canadians had developed a hockey stick axe to perform public executions. Damn, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Could you imagine? Yeah, just like. <laughs> Surprised it didn't. I know, right? And then then they just naturally really gravitated around in, towards uh, hockey. <laughs> Look at this hockey side. wasn't much around in medieval times, nor, well, I guess the argument would be Canada was around, but it wasn't really around in the medieval times. So we're starting things. They're just waiting for the Vikings to come over. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they have the Native Americans. Need, need a place to stay? Yeah. Well, we got we got some space over here. No, <laughs> Indians we're are like here, right? we're we're going to Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> oh my god. And gosh. that this history of Ohio. Right. That's it. That's how we found it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> nothing else it's like it's like the old robin williams like story when he had open heart surgery one time who robin williams oh um, Oh, i don't know this story oh no but i his uncle graham norton a while back but um he basically was like he had like a heart attack and and he woke up from the surgery and they're like all right robin do you know where you are it's like no well you just you're at a hospital you just had open heart surgery and uh you're in cleveland he's like why <laughs> and it's like it's like well your heart ventricles like half of them were you know clogged up so we had to deal with it and he's like okay <laughs> to pass back out it's like, and then they beat him with baseball bats <laughs> dear god he won't awake <laughs> oh my gosh that's a very Thank interesting you. story yes that's that's yeah hmm, that's hmm, interesting right that it's so very non-robin williams like i thought he would have done a weird voice oh, he did he was like Whoa. like oh i'm in Ohio. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry he's not animated sounds after a, a heart like, yeah it sounds like a lot like uh, roddy dangerfield <laughs> r.i.p <laughs> get some rip in the chat oh yeah oh my god unbelievable we don't have a chat no <laughs> you said ripping the chat and you're like looking around like we don't have a chat it's just us it's a gamer thing just us i'm aware why. it's just us <laughs> it's a rip of the chat somebody gets them out uh so we uh so Murph, how you uh how you coping without hockey coaching right now it's been tough i'm actually yeah. i just i thought start Twitter. looking into some other jobs but yeah that'll be that'll be interesting maybe for I, next year but... i just saw in the state they had the state tournament yeah the other day i know i so, I think uh, like Upper Arlington from from Columbus made it yeah. out there. I don't. The Toledo St. Francis. St. Francis, yeah. Yeah, which they're pretty good at hockey. So. I don't know who won, but I know it was tied in the third period. But Ooh. anyway, um, yeah, it's been. I saw that. I was like, Murph's got to be just hurting a little bit, a little tiny bit. A little bit, a little yeah. bit. But it's also very, like, you know, it's, a, it's for high school levels of commitment, too. So it's like. It's like a little bit of both, where it's like I definitely will probably go back, and I will I miss it, and I like and I enjoy doing it, but yeah, gosh, going to the rink, <laughs> going like, to the rink like four ugh. times a week. It's yeah. just after a while, it just gets very old very fast. It's just like yeah, I'd much. like to be able to sit at home and just kind of chill, but it's like no, it's and then on top of the three men's leagues that I play in, so that's pretty much I'm at the rink six days a week. So yeah, it was yeah, it comes a lot really fast. Murph is a god at the at the adult league level here. 
I'm not. Unbelievable. I like to think I am, but I'm not. You are. I'm just a rink rat. What? Rink rat. Rink rat. That's what they call us. <laughs> Jeez. Not even a gym rat anymore, just a rink rat. I was never a gym rat. Oh, just it's a it's a new term for me. Oh. Rink rat. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's I you pretty much put anything in front of a rat and it'd be like you're there a lot. So it could be like, oh, a uh, pitch rat for soccer, I imagine. Or I don't know. And then <laughs> a like, pitch rat. And then a court rat for basketball. That sounds really bad though. Court rat. That sounds really bad. Kind of, that's pretty. Yeah, that sounds. Let's not make that a thing. Uh, <laughs> that's. Uh, I hope that's it's not a thing, and let's not that's make it questionable a thing. At best. Yeah, I think in twenty twenty two that that would get canceled real fast. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, no, yeah. I don't know. I just thought that. I'm like, ooh, yeah, no, that's not good. Uh, but yeah, that. Yeah, but no, that's simple answer. Don't really have a whole lot of animation behind it. Just yes, I miss it. Murph. Hopefully, Stern. I find something. Stern but, but fair. Stern but fair. That's how I work. How about you? How, how you ready for coaching yet? Are you gonna be doing that, or what are you doing? You made a decision no yet? No idea. No idea. No idea. It's you're very fun. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> I got. I actually got asked that. Um, cause I had to do the the Patreon Q and A, and someone asked me that. They're like, what's what's your update? I was like, uh, turned down, turned down a couple of jobs. Um, and wanting to go back to Germany. Get them wanting more. That's how you do it. Exactly. <laughs> Well, like I had like three interviews with some German teams, some high level German teams, and that, those fell through. And then had offers in the Czech Republic. I had offers in Italy, but I turned those down because I was like, I kind of want to go back to Germany. And I been talking to like a lower league German team, but then it's I don't know, right? That's one reason why I kind of like wanted to stay here because you know, with all like my job here and we just open up another store. I was like, I want to get my feet wet here before I really kind of jump ship again. And then I don't know. I was thinking about doing that, but, Fair. but I'm here it's, older. yeah, I'm getting older, man, getting older, but uh high school is just, yeah. Yeah. People yeah. won't, won't even give me a time of day on that. So, so weird. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so difficult here in it's Ohio. Ohio high school football, though they Gosh. take it seriously up here. Hockey is so different because they're like, we want yeah. experience, we we need that. Yeah. So they'll they'll jump at the chance to bring somebody on like that. Now football here, it's very much like the opposite. They basically look at the individual and like, wow, this guy is young. He's got this amount of experience. He's probably going to take my job in a year or two. That's immediately what their head goes to. And so now you're like, I don't, I can't really afford to bring this guy on now. And a lot of times too, you basically tell the coach, "I don't want your job. I don't want this. I don't want that." And they're like, "Well, if you say that now." <laughs> I don't know. Zach's always sneaky like that. Can't trust. Him. I'm a sneaky snake, right? Mm. Old Zach Benedict Arnold Selesky. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if that's. <laughs> wow, you're related to Benedict Arnold. Damn it! Yep. And now you're done. <laughs> I. It. Uh. <laughs> we all have a little Benedict in, all, in us, a little Benedict Cumberbatch in us. I was gonna say, what? <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> oh my gosh, how that guy gets by with that name? Oh, oh my gosh, there's gotta definitely be a porn star with that similar name out there somewhere. God, it's such a porn star name. It's such a porn star name. I think he calls his fans Cumber Bitches. <laughs> Not him personally, like the. No, I know that's like that's hilarious. I would that'd be so funny. Call it, call a group of them the Cumber Bat, Cumber Patch. <laughs> the Cumber Patch, Cumber Patch. <laughs> Jesus, wow. Oh look, it's my fan group, the Cumber Patch. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they just throw out, uh, throw out trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, welcome. And our favorite candy is Sour Patch Kids. Oh, <laughs> uh, jeez. Oh man. What uh, if you had a fan group? What'd you call them? Ooh, I haven't thought about that. That'll never happen. Um, <laughs> Tyler Murphy. Right? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> man, you pretty put me on the spot here. I can't remember. I think I. I'm just curious. Right? I guess like. The Murph Durfs? I don't know. Murph Durfs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's yeah. following you? I don't know. Yeah, no one now. <laughs> I don't know. I won't be a fucking Durf. <laughs> oh, Murph Durf. Yeah, Durf. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. 
God, I Murph. Secretly called them the sloppy Murphs. <laughs> the, sl <laughs> the Smurfs. <laughs> See? Could go with Smurfs. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but that, I don't know. That doesn't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Smurf doesn't really make you think of not even the setting. Maple Murphs or Smurfs or Maple Murph sounds like a candy. Mm. Damn, that's yeah, a, right. That's a branding opportunity, Murph. There you go. Hold on to that. Yeah, and yeah, copyright yeah, just, it. Like, yeah. If this ever, this podcast ever becomes big, you can just right, use that. I'll do that. Okay, thank you. And then you'll sue me for what <laughs> you <laughs> came up with it. I don't know, batch of Maple Murphs. <laughs> it melts in your mouth. Go that old timey, huh? All right. <laughs> it's a candy that like oh, melts man. in your mouth and foams. You're like, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you get a free one if you don't choke. <laughs> <laughs> Swallow it. <laughs> As you guys could tell, we're branding masters. We, here. oh my gosh, like if we could have gone to school for it we would have which oh, most people are like isn't that just marketing no shut up branding's no. different and like shut your face yeah don't get smart with us don't get smurf with us <laughs> exactly yes I'm that see. serious about this <laughs> oh man well, we're going to hell and jail oh i mean we were going to hell a long time ago i think the jail part was just kind of newer <laughs> Ooh, new there place go. new place yeah <laughs> I'm sure I'd survive in jail. It'd be fine. <laughs> Not. I'm too pretty. I can't do this. Right? <laughs> uh, Damn. My gosh. Well, yeah. Well, I found out that they're bringing back. So, obviously, when you air this, yeah. um, it'll oh, yeah. probably be yeah. just before it. Your but schedule. St. Patrick, well, that too. Uh, but St. Patrick's Day is next Thursday. Um, True. Which is basically just an excuse for Americans to get drunk and for a holiday. Extremely. Um, but they all... Okay, where do you fall on this? What? Celebrating the weekend before the holiday or the weekend after? I'm pretty sure we've talked about this, but I can't remember. What? On... So so basically, this weekend is the St. Patrick's Day weekend because it's going to be on Thursday. Oh, yeah. I I, my that. argument is I feel like it should be the weekend Why? after, this, especially because it's on a Thursday. This so is the problem with Ohio. This is the problem with Ohio. They never like to like celebrate any sort of holiday on the day it's supposed to be so, celebrated. Okay, so that's what was, what was leading me into. Yeah. So obviously if you watch if Zach puts it up on the YouTube, mm -hmm. I'm wearing my green Blackhawks hat. Um they're dying the river green tomorrow. So that's a big thing they do in Chicago if you've ever had a chance to go. There's um it has a history Ooh. of a big Irish population. You might want to let that sit. Um it has a history of a big Irish population. So every St. Patrick's Day weekend People just like drink all day and they dye the river green, which sounds like a huge um, eco problem. That, uh, but I think they use like okay coloring that's okay yeah, for the river. Food coloring. Um, but yeah, so literally the river that or runs paint. through downtown. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> just well, actually lead based paint they can't use <laughs> anymore. You see Sherwin Williams just, <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> you can't uh, do that. Right. Yeah. You shut your fucking face. Right. Uh, PETA, the EPA, they hate it, but they can't do anything about it. They're like, well, it's tradition. Uh, what about the EPA? Who? Yeah, yeah right. You ain't gonna stop my shit. ass. Yeah, yeah. Too drunk for this shit. Right. Too drunk to taste that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Damn Colonel Sanders. Damn. Uh, I'm too drunk to taste this shit. <laughs> I don't care is my favorite oh, saying. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> uh anyway. The Elephant People Organization can just shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> oh, that's EPA, not EPO. Um, anyway. <laughs> elephant People. <laughs> so, yeah. So they dye the river green. And, like, in the morning, it's this big thing. And people, like, like go all out for this. Um, <laughs> and because it's a big Irish population in Chicago. I'm pretty sure there's... Pretty sure the biggest one in the U.S. is probably like New York or California, but Chicago kind of dominates it because I know the Midwest. York, yeah, I know New yeah. York does well, but like Chicago is like the place for Irish. Um, don't know why. Maybe it's the cold. Maybe they just love water. I'm not sure. Um, but <laughs> you're here first. Cold right, and water. Exactly. <laughs> Two things Irish. Um, <laughs> Jesus. So they dye the river green. And then they just like drink and stuff all day and act rowdy and all that stuff. So it's a big thing in Chicago. So because of that, like wearing the green hat, um, but like Chicago does these really cool, like um, Irish themed warm up jerseys and stuff like that, where it's like, you know, they got like the the all green and then, like the Celtic knots on the sleeves. Like, it looks, they look really cool. Oh, sweet. Uh, oh, yeah. They're awesome. Huh. Uh, but they only do it for the warm up. They don't wear it for the game. 
uh so um because of that big irish population like so my argument was basically that i feel like you should celebrate that stuff the weekend after but yeah. people always celebrate the weekend before so it's not only ohio it's like oh. chicago's doing it and i think like other places do it too. yeah so God, i hate that <laughs> i guess yeah i guess the argument might be that like it's the celebrations leading up to the week of St. Patrick's Day week, but like people just want to drink. I get sure. it. <laughs> it's it's the same thing with all these other holidays. At least Ohio does this, where it's like they always beat around the bush. Like, well, it's, it falls during the week, so it doesn't really make sense for us. I'm like, well, then how about your job kind of works around that? They're like, well, it won't ever do that. Well, then you should probably get a new job. <laughs> get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I mean, it sounds like you're in the same same thing as me, where it's like if you're going to do like fun celebration yeah. stuff, do it like the weekend. Out. I mean, try to do a day of, but do it the yeah. weekend after. I can understand, you know, yeah. people don't want to drink. So it's the seventeenth. I mean, yeah, eighteen, yeah, nineteenth, whatever. I don't get that. I don't know that weekend. Yeah, I don't. It's weird. Yeah, I, I never understand it. And then it's like it's same thing with, I mean, hell, Miami. Yeah. When we were there, it's now Miami, Ohio. Like they kind of really take to, um, St. Patrick's Day. I don't know though. Is it? I don't it even say it Patrick's fall really. on St. Patrick's Day, right? So no. it's, it's they call it break. yeah, they call it Green Beer Day, and it's kind of like they they care because there's a big amount of Chicago people there because yeah. of the business school. So it's kind of like a carryover. It is nationally that, so. known, yeah, for Green Beer Day. Basically, yes. it's like right before spring break. So we're still gets technically trashed. supposed to be having classes. Yeah. So, but it's always the Thursday before spring break because most Thursday, people okay. don't go to. Yeah, most people don't go to class on Friday anyway. Because teachers know it. Break. And teachers know it. Yeah. But they will cool still schedule it. classes, some of them. Yeah. And yeah, and that's pretty much it is they literally wake up um, like 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. And the first thing they'd have is green eggs and ham. Yep. Um, just like the book from Dr. Seuss. Thank you, Dr. Seuss. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Right? They do that. And then literally like the bars <laughs> oh know too God. they're going to make a lot of money that day. So they literally just go to the bars. And the whole idea is they just booze and drink so that a lot of them are pretty much hammered by noon. And then sometimes they get some food or they hammered go, is is being blacked kind. out. Sorry, blacked out. Yes, you're, blacked out. You're plastered. Yeah. By noon, you're yeah. you're drunk by like maybe nine thirty, ten o'clock in the morning. True, because they do pre game and stuff. You're right. I forgot about that. Yeah. They they yeah they pre game when they eat the green eggs and ham. Yeah. It's like what what are you doing? I remember I remember I went to the the one that I participated in. And I use that term loosely. <laughs> Right, yeah. There's like saying. there's there's like a couple houses that we always pass and they would have like their own jungle juice and they'd just be like it's it's gotta be ten forty five. And they're just like, What's up guys? And they're like, Oh my god, <laughs> it's morning. Yeah, I just I just couldn't do it, especially because yeah. like we'd sometimes have to have practice for club hockey in those days and guys would show up like drunk to practice and we would just get chewed the fuck out. The <laughs> it's and like, I was like, I just couldn't do it. It's but rough. I did one time try to go like that night. I normally didn't go out to the bars like school yeah. nights, but I decided to go out that one night and it was like, you know, like seven o'clock, eight o'clock and it was dead. Like everyone was just so drunk that they were all at home sleeping it off. Oh yeah. And that's yeah. like, I think the only downside to green beer day is it it's sucks. not an actually whole day. Like people were lucky to survive till the afternoon and Very then lucky. like the real, yeah. And then like the real veterans will like sleep it off a little and then pick back up, but then they'll be done by like evening. And then others will literally just be like, have gone so hard that they're just literally sleeping through the whole day. Like it's, it's definitely like, Murph. Yeah, well, what? Murph would sleep for a couple of hours and go back out. Yeah, I was. Murph yeah, can I do that. Like, I couldn't do that. I not so much anymore as I'm getting older, but I used to. Yes, yeah. I used to puke and rally a lot. So, <laughs> Murph, yes. Murph, yes. yes, Murph used to be able to. That was that was the sign that things were getting good. Was I had gone to the bathroom discreetly and puked. Yes. Well, I say discreetly, but basically people would be like, "Where did Murph go?" I'm like, oh, he went to go. He went to go puke. And I'd come back, like, "You puked, Todd." Huh? I'm like, "Yep." <laughs> when when lost a when lot of Murph, weight, though. <laughs> When Murph came back and and from the bathroom, you knew exactly what he did. And and Murph, I swear, it was like it was like game seven. He knew what he was doing. He's like, I know, I know what I gotta do to win this thing. Yep. And then he just he found a way to coast. For me, I was like, I was out after the first half. Like, listen, guys, I'm tired. I'll die. <laughs> <A> big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to that, like longevity oh, drink. That's fair. Yeah. Jeez. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. The first I definitely green... know how to coast. Oh God. Yeah. Murph takes the momentum, baby. He grow, he rides it. <laughs> but then what happens is sometimes I coast too long, and then when people are gonna leave, that's when I start downing drinks. And it's dangerous. <laughs> it's like, oh no, they're closing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God. Oh shit! But Green Beer Day was fantastic. Yeah. Um, if you guys ever get 
Oh, God. Miami is... I mean, it seems like a lot more colleges are doing it now. Yeah. Ohio State did a few years after started adopting it, but Miami is like like number one. I'm sure we're... Yeah, I'm sure we're not the ones that invented it, but we pretty much treat it like we're the ones that invented it. Yeah. It's like... I think OU does it too and all that, but like, no, I don't know what it is. People to. literally come to the campus to, do, to participate in it. Like, people that oh, yeah. don't go to Miami come to the campus to do it. Like, it's just... It's a very big thing. It just really is. I, mean, I don't know how to explain it. I remember, the, I remember like seeing a bunch of kids. Like this is on Green Beer Day. A couple of years, like probably my two years before I left. Um, they, God, they. I remember seeing drunk kids, and they would just oh, yeah. wander themselves over to the skyline, chilly. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I remember thinking to myself, this is not going to end well. Nope. And God, man, I remember like the whole place. And it's a pretty big place, but. It was just packed of oh, kids, yeah. and they're just like, uh, uh. Oh, and everyone, yeah. Like, the cops have their handful, because it is literally like, oh, people yeah. are literally like a drink away from alcohol poisoning. Like, it's, it's like, it's, it's rough. bad. It's yeah. bad. And so, yeah. So it was... But the the thing is, like, that's great about that whole, it's, it's stupid, but it's, it's, it's basically dope. like, they, they dye the beer, all the bars uptown. Yeah. They dye the just beer put some green. some green food coloring in it. That's yep. all it is. Yep. And so, people are always fascinated by it. They're like, oh, my God, it's green beer day. Whatever it is, whatever year, I was yeah. like, you can do that anytime. Anytime you want, you can <laughs> go, to, go to Kroger, get yourself some green food coloring, right? do it yourself. No, it but which, it's it's a special day, it's today, right? <laughs> it is weird. It goes to show you like pack mentality or whatever you want to call it, where it's like there's really no historical significance to it. It just college, and I guess that's just college in a nutshell. They act Any like we sacrificed the to like, drink, yes, <laughs> that's what they act like. <laughs> We found the gold and sacrificed it. <laughs> the gold took us to Miami. <laughs> you don't oh understand. He gave his blood for this. Yeah. <laughs> the hell? Oh, my gosh. The poor leprechaun. Right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, it's like... <laughs> Did you know they made a um, stop motion movie about, on, on St. Patrick's Day? Oh, no. Yeah, like the claymation ones, like the oh, God. that like you, that we love the bad. kids, like the Rudolph and all that. Yeah, I saw it one day and I was like, "What the hell is this?" Like, yeah, it was like the, the legend. Should of, not watch, right? I think it was like the legend <laughs> of like I think it was the legend of St. Patrick's Day slash like the finding the founding of Ireland. It was like the weirdest thing. I was like, <laughs> "This is interesting." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Oh my gosh! The founding so of Ireland. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. It so funny. It's, it's basically oh, Murph's man. roots. Yeah, well, I found out that uh, we got kicked out of Ireland and a lot of our families in Scotland now. So we must have done something really bad to get kicked out of there. <laughs> like, I... Most people get kicked out of England to go to Ireland and then they get kicked out of Ireland. Must have done something real bad. You know what? We're going to have a podcast on location just for that reason. <laughs> like, oh, it's you, Murphy clan. And I'm like, there's a billion Murphys out there. I, I know. Like, no, <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Murph uh, has a turf war with the O'Briens. Uh, apparently. O'Briens. <laughs> why did you pick that one? I don't know. All of them. I know so many O'Briens. And everyone, oh everyone ever asks, so like, yeah, are you Irish? Yeah. Full-blooded? Basically. Yeah, according to my my dad, my, my dad's sides, my grandfather is like, I think they immigrated here from Scotland. And it was like, yeah, Jeez. he still got family over there. And it was like, yeah, Murphy's a Irish name, but we're not, yeah, we, we left there. For some Damn. undisclosed reason. <laughs> so now I want to know. Right? Same. Jesus. I want I want to know this history now. Oh, you got any genealogists good luck, out good there? Luck finding that with look Murphy up Tyler as the last name. Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that. The <laughs> most vanilla name. Yeah. Tyler Murphy. Yeah. I guess you do my father's name, Gord Murphy. Good luck with that one too. <laughs> Gord Murphy. <laughs> Gordon Murphy. Yeah, that'll take you down a rabbit hole. It's, oh wow! There's too many people. I, know. I think I saw one time there was like a a football player highly recruited coming out of high school yeah. with your name. Oh, really? A black kid too. I was like, wow, good oh, good like athlete. I've like heard of that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, that, that's not Murph. Nope, it's not the Murph I know. I mean, you know, <laughs> for a few reasons, probably. Based out of California, I was like, man, Murph is. I am all over the place, man. When you think you, this what an you athlete! Know, this when you think you know me, I'm I'm there. What a spry <laughs> athlete! Spry athlete, <laughs> interesting word. Can you define that word? Nimble. <laughs> okay. Does that work? 
I was going to say, Sprite, I don't even think it's a word. Like, <laughs> it is a word. It feels like you're just saying Sprite, but you took the T out of it. No, it is a word. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you spell it. S-P-R-Y. Spry. Spry? Spry. Oh, interesting. Huh. I'll Google this now, because I've never heard I've that word I've always wanted to use that word in a sentence. I don't... <laughs> Was it like your word of the day? <laughs> no. It's such a weird word. It's like, I got to use this somewhere. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What did I tell you? Right? Active, lively. Wow. Yeah. Ew. Close enough. <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Try me, Mr. So Murphy. You, right, Try so me. you kind of used it correctly, but not really. It did. Oh my God. <laughs> I won't give you the satisfaction, Zach. <laughs> yeah, Mr. I've been kicked uh, out of Ireland. Exactly. Just in don't time you for. for... Don't, you, don't you forget it. <laughs> you bring a bat to beat me up. I've been kicked out of Ireland. Just remember that. <laughs> I'll take you down just like the O'Briens. It's like, oh, okay, fine. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know why when you're talking about that now, it reminds me of, um, what was that Disney movie with the basketball guy? And he what? was an Irish leprechaun. Look at the Irish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when they kept saying eerie, and it was like, you mean irie? And you're like, no, like, eerie. Uh, He's no, from like, Cleveland. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Ayo boyo, it's ire. Yeah. It's like, my father's from Cleveland. <gasps> Ohio! Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I don't care what you say. That's a great. It's a good movie. That's actually. a great decom. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Jesus. I feel like if I watched Disney it again, Channel, I'd probably hit. be like, "What the fuck?" But it was like back oh, yeah. back then. It was like not a bad Disney Channel movie. Like, kind of lost me with the whole, you know, him owning the potato chip. Factory. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. <laughs> and it's such a oh, it's such fry a... and potato <laughs> chip. <laughs> you know, potatoes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> or unfortunately, too, like which I always found weird was like. The mother's side, it was like they're doing this rich history, and the dad's like, "Oh no, I'm just from Ohio," and it's like, "Really? Like, oh, yeah, she, yeah, that's like what you're gonna do?" His, like, his coin gets stolen, so she's turning more and more like into yeah. a leprechaun. She's like, "Mom, what's this? It's haggis." <laughs> and then she gives him like the bucket with like the the pig's feet. Yeah, it's like it's traditional Irish food. He's like, "What the hell am I supposed to do with?" Yeah, and then he starts picking up an Irish accent like a werewolf. <laughs> Jesus. Gets the ears going. I'm just like, what? Like, <laughs> oh god, oh god. gosh. Were they? They were leprechauns, right? That's what you were yeah. trying to allude to. Yeah, they were leprechauns because they had their lucky coin that right. the kid had. It was a family heirloom. Oh, that's right. So yeah, if the they other lost guy it, the band stole it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if they lost the coin, then they turned into leprechauns and slowly. That's weird. What I also find now explain it. It sounds right? weird. It sounds, it sounds terrible, but when you watch it, it's entertaining. <laughs> it's like the the what 90s is... guys i got a great idea yeah he loses his coin he turns into a leprechaun you could say he lost his lucky charm <laughs> you killed it murph you yeah. killed it yes. you killed it <laughs> jesus <laughs> oh man uh that is a cereal here in the u.s lucky charms oh in canada but yeah <laughs> they even got in germany too do they i feel like it's so full of shit that they would be like no this is disgusting <laughs> oh, oh gmo <laughs> <laughs> oh GMO! <laughs> oh my gosh! It's like, God damn it. uh, oh, here in Maple Glaze, we take St. Patty's Day very seriously. Very seriously. <laughs> very seriously. We take our shillelaghs and we. Oh God! <laughs> Don't even bring that up. What? It's a weapon. I know. <laughs> we. When I was in high school, we had um. Oh yeah. Yeah. Forgot about they... this. We uh, it's like the worst thing. <laughs> so if you guys like in this area, we, at least they probably uh, know what shillelagh is, right? Should we explain oh, yeah. that real quick? Or oh god, yeah, I'll get to it. Right. Shillelagh is like a what was it? Stick? It's pretty much a walking stick. Walking but they, stick. But the top of it's like very hell heavy and like bulbous. Like it's yeah. Like, so that like ooh bulbous. Can, there you go. You can like, bulbasaur, huh? There you go. <laughs> you can like um you can literally like beat someone to death with it. So like yeah, it's yeah, Irish beating it's, stick. It's it's mostly basically. known for like I like I think it was kind of like folklore that like old Irishmen would walk around with it. But then you go to find out that it was like a medieval weapon. Um. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> yeah. so they're wrong, <laughs> right? Yeah. But um, so like the areas around here, um, we went to school in high school in Dublin. So like they, it's obviously the Irish theme, and so every every high school is named like after an Irish. Theme mascot. So you Except got for Kaufman, it's the Rocks, even though it's supposed to be Shamrock, but it's Shamrocks. The rocks, yeah. yeah, Shamrocks, and you got the Irish, yeah. and then the high school we went to, we are the Celtics, and emphasis on the Celts. Yep. Yeah, everyone want to say Celtics, Celtics. Correct. Nope, Celtics. So 
I played football there and our coach got this the bright idea. Instead of just having the pride stickers on our helmets, he decided to say like anybody with the hardest hit from the week before, we're gonna have the golden shillelagh and you win it every week. And I think I think oh one of my teammates, Rick, got won it one week. Of course. And I, I I want it for no for my own stupid reasons. I was like, I just wanna swing that thing around just Start hitting kids with it. <laughs> it's just stupid crap at the time as a high school. High school stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but my, my teammate Rick, who's six five, this dude's big. <laughs> like it's like, all right, hardest hit from last week is from Rick. And Rick is like, Yeah. <laughs> Raise up above his head. And as soon as he did that, our head coach was like Shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, well, they actually treated it like an actual like weapon. I'm like Jesus, not gonna beat you with it. God, do I think they're racist? <laughs> <laughs> Black me on the trolley, like attack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh man, you have to appropriate. Yeah. It was Lily too, and again, I think Jerome out of all three was the bougiest of all three. So yeah. we got like a we got like a bagpipe player that would like serenade you oh guys out God. every game. Like it was like a whole thing, and and you guys were good for a while. Like you guys were good uh. for that one season, but you're garbage most of the time. And we've got like. All the sophomore bag- year, we were bad. Uh, yeah, that and we it. got this bagpiper leading, and then they also got a bell as well. Like they just basically have all these traditions, but like, <laughs> all right, the victory bell. Title, everybody, I think. no, <laughs> the victory bell. They have every single field, but yeah, yeah, we were special because they had like the. <laughs> it's weird because like they would introduce us to come out in the field, and then they would have, I mean, run out of the field, not come out, yeah. and then uh, <laughs> then they had the bagpiper like slowly taking his time and just you know doing his little song whatnot and everyone's like ha- having like to run around i'm like all right i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to bump this guy over just <laughs> and go around him it's like <laughs> and he just oh, casually God. walked to the center of the field like <laughs> it's like all right well this guy's already just... warmed up and ready to go kickoffs happen and he's still walking <laughs> the guy's playing like the most emotional song ever because he's got some feelings he has to work through <laughs> So we're just like, I, what do we Bag do? Bagpipe solo. <laughs> we kick him off or I we mean, just let him finish? You feel bad, but technically, like, <laughs> it's like, yeah. He's like the only one who does it. So you're like, right? I don't know. He's a rare breed. I mean, it was used for a lot of things, but I think most of the time, a lot of bagpipe <laughs> songs were like for the spirit going into the next realm for the Irish, like oh. Celtics and all that. Yeah. So it's like, makes sense. Yeah. So it's like one of those things where it's like, oh, like, yeah, it's not meant to play a banger. It's kind of like a, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Man, is that purple rain? <laughs> this shit's lit, bro. <laughs> oh See the way the man's squeezing the the bag, right? Shit's pumping. I'm pretty sure he's playing levels by Avicii. <laughs> man, oh, shit. shit's busting, bro. Right, <laughs> pushing P. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Good gosh. times. More like pushing bag. Ah. <laughs> Incredible, Murph. You're on yeah, fire you're tonight, welcome. just yep. like the bagpiper. <laughs> Guys, I got some feelings uh, gonna work out, right? <laughs> oh my gosh! So we actually will not be. Um... Yeah. Oh, I guess I should say that. Yeah. Too. Tell him, Murph. Yeah. Ow. Uh, Ow. We will be Ow. taking. Well, I guess we were kind of taking. already on a hiatus because of, uh, unfortunately, just our work life schedules. It's Schedule. been a while since we were able to do it. Thank you for adding that. Um, schedules. but we will definitely be taking Levels. a week off. Levels. There you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can you shut the fuck up <laughs> i do what i want <laughs> asshole uh, yeah right no we will be taking a week off because i am going to sin city vegas Ooh. um unfortunately i will be there for a few days for work so i will not be having too much fun and then i'm staying a few days after to have fun and see which i am super excited for yeah my first vegas golden knights game when they play against chicago um so i'm looking forward stuff. and we'll try to take videos and pictures and things like that that zach can share or whatever he wants to do with it and obviously hopefully have some good stories for you guys when i come back personal collection Um, right so i have been to vegas once but when i was there it was like like five years ago six years ago and uh, that was when vegas did not have a hockey team so this will be my first time experiencing all of it and i'm pretty pumped and the also kind of fun thing i found out that i haven't seen in a long time is it's a noon game their time so yeah. it's like an afternoon game. Yeah. So it's going to be kind of fear, weird. So uh, my girlfriend's meeting me there and I told her, I was like, well, on Saturday, we're getting up, getting coffee and going right to the rink because I guess they have really cool like um, pregame rituals and things. Like I think they have like a drum line and all that stuff. Yeah. 
so it's pretty cool. I'm looking, I'm looking very forward to it. Like First literally, gotta be there early for the skate around, right? Literally, everyone I've talked to that have experienced it, even my dad, a seasoned twenty, no, sorry, <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, probably twenty, twenty nine, maybe thirty years, thousands year, of games. yeah, thirty year veteran was like Tyler, take vacation and watch the game. He's like, it's it's insane. Um, so I've I've heard the the building just nuts and Vegas um, right now. Vegas is hunting for a playoff spot, so I imagine Ooh. like yeah, I imagine it's going to be. Fortunately, I don't. I don't, I, I hope Chicago does well. I don't think they will. Um, I will support <laughs> them, but Vegas is just Vegas is good, and they're looking to make a playoff run. So I know that that's going to happen. So Nicoli's um, coming back home. So Nicoli. Flurry. Oh, Flurry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flurry. Sorry, sorry. Flurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think these are, I think this already happened, though. Did he? So basically, oh, yeah. Okay. Any. So when you play teams in your own conference, so because Vegas is in the West Conference with Chicago, I think they're guaranteed to play each other three times. So okay. I think they, okay. I think it may have already happened, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay. Um, so yeah, but yeah, it will be, it will be dope. Like that. Yes. Dope. Dope. Yes, so looking forward to that. So unfortunately, I'm sorry we'll be taking a week off, but also I'm not sorry that I'm going to experience this cool stuff, and I'll make sure to hopefully have fun stories for you guys. No. Even though, unfortunately, me and my girlfriend are very tame, so we've already like talked about things we're going to do there, and it's like, I don't know if we're going to make our way to a club. Vegas is fucking expensive, so I'm like, yeah, I don't no know kidding. if I want to do that. Like Last time I was there, I was at MGM, and we went to their club Jeez. in MGM, which is awesome, and Avicii was playing, and it was great. Beer was like twelve bucks for a for oh. just a bottle of beer. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. So, uh, yeah. So some of the things, obviously, like anytime you go to Vegas, those that haven't been, like, you gotta do a show. Like I did a Cirque du Soleil show, it was awesome, kind of weird, but awesome. <laughs> um, Penn and Teller, nice. their magic show was awesome. Nice. Um, you know, doing that stuff. This time around, I saw also um, Liberace Museum, which is kind of funny. Oh, I forgot about that. Stuff. Yeah, it was kind of funny. Murph sent me a picture of that years yeah, ago. It was, was like, it was, it was hilarious. Hey, you're just as gay as this guy. I don't think I said that. But Something sure. like that. But he sent me like pictures of his outfit. <laughs> yeah. Like, you would wear this. Right. Yeah. It's oh very, <laughs> very flashy. Uh, I think this year, though, um, they have a cool mob museum. So I'm going to go check that out. The oh, that's awesome. Me. I love mob history stuff. So go check that out. It's pretty cool. Just don't venture off too far. Right. Don't get buried. Go to the, the gold and silver pawn shop, though. Oh, I know, right? I hear that's like not as cool. Like it, it's like a kind of a, yeah. It's like it's like a bitch to get into. I've heard it is certain yeah. times, but I mean it's like you haven't been there. See I might it try. Once. We'll see how far down the strip it is. Yeah, I am staying on the strip, which is cool. Which yeah, I. It's basically just one strip of where all the. For those that don't know, it's just one. But I'm sure everyone knows. Just one strip of where all like the casinos are and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty cool. It's. I had a guy come in one time to the store I was working at, and he actually, ironically, is from that nice. area. Nice. I am, and he's like, I hear it's actually like pretty cool to live in Vegas. Like it's not as bad as people think. No, it's it a little yeah. sketch. Um, oh. basically, because that's like this is when the Raiders first moved. Oh, gotcha. So he's like, he's like, people don't know like over there. Like, if you're on the strip, like you're fine, but if you go like, say like a couple blocks off. Like he's like things can get pretty sketchy pretty quick. Okay. He's like there's just a lot of gangs off of the side out, off the strip, and it's like people just will mug you. They don't give a shit. Like they just that's basically what he told me. But this is years ago, so you, you don't know if it's the same now or not. I've or... heard the police because of the tourism, they they do things heavier now because that's why yeah. they talk about how all the homeless live like yeah. underneath the strip and like these like lawless, um, what is it called? Like storm tunnels. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, yeah, I'd be curious. Interesting. Well, now it makes me wonder. I'm trying to remember where my hotel is, but I don't know if it's if it's exactly off the strip, but it's like literally right across the street from the arena. Oh yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, I think I should right. be okay. Yeah, you should we'll be see. fine. Whatever. Well, yeah. hopefully, then I make it back for the next podcast. Murph, well... If not, I've been stabbed and I'm dead in Vegas. <laughs> not if you wear this. Or Zach's coming. Uh, Zach's coming. Beat me with baseball bat. Maybe with a gold chalet. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Stole it from Jerome. <laughs> I've come from uh, my shalele. Sounds like a porno. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, uh, shit. As always, guys, if you guys uh, like this content, make sure you guys follow us on all social medias. Maple Glaze Podcast, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube for the video version. Also, yeah. we do have... Face Space. Pa face Space, yes. yes we made that <laughs> a, up. Patre a Patreon as well. Help support the, the podcast so mm -hmm. Murph can eat. Once yes. more than once a day. 
that would be great. That'd be great. You guys help with the chair, so food would also help. <laughs> he had he had to make his sweater out of out of hay. Yes. Yeah. So down by the bay. Help him out down by the bay. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> also made some things out of clay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but yes. Uh, as always, thank you guys. I we will both see you guys next week, Murph. Happy St. Patrick's Day and goodbye, Murph.